I'm not sure if you've checked the film out yet, Venom. Absolutely amazing film. Tom Hardy seemed to be the perfect actor for that film. So much respect for that guy. And the shape he gets into for different films, great. He's on top of everything there. But Venom, maybe your reason that you're not dropping the computer belly, maybe your reason you're not in the shape you want to be in. Your inner Venom inside your head is keeping you fat, it's keeping you out of shape, it's keeping you from being able to be focused and keeping you from being able to follow a healthy lifestyle. If you've seen the film, you'll know exactly what I mean. But essentially, the symbiote attaches itself to a human form, to a human base. And that goes into Eddie Brock, who is played by Tom Hardy. I'm not going to go into the depths of the story, just in case you haven't seen it. But we go through, and then it's just telling Eddie that he's hungry. I'm hungry. Feed me. That dog looks tasty. And then there's one line where it's something like, eyes, liver, pancreas, so many snacks, so little time. These things are getting told to us every single day without us realizing. Maybe not eyes, maybe not liver, maybe not pancreas, but M&Ms, ice cream, cookies, all these things. We see them and our inner venom says to us, we're hungry, I need to eat. Again, we stop at the dogs, but venom seems to tell Eddie that he's hungry all the time. Until he gets to the point where he learns to control it. We think Venom is bad, it's inside Eddie, he's lost control. Then he learns to control it, and he can use this power for good. He learns to tell him that, no, we can't eat good people, we can only eat bad people. Well, how can you tell? Simply, you will be able to tell, and that is the same with foods. There may be good people that have turned bad, and then you can eat them. But with foods, it's kind of the opposite. We eat the good foods, and occasionally we'll eat something quote unquote bad, dare I say it, but it's about that balance there. Awareness is key. Soon as the symbiote attached himself to Eddie, he was sick, he didn't know what was going on, he was running through trees, he was beating up five, six, seven people at a time without even realizing, he was shooting and stopping people from actually getting to him with bullets. He was bulletproof. No, he hadn't had a knob of butter in his coffee. He was simply a superhero without knowing it. But awareness allowed him to control the inner venom within him. Inner venom within him? That's proper good English, that. It allowed him to control this voice inside his head. It allowed him to use that power for good. Awareness may be just what you need in order to start your journey towards being healthy, towards being where you actually want to be. Feeling revitalized, feeling refreshed, feeling vitality. Allowing your computer belly to literally be melted depending on your age. It can be easier, it can be harder. But your age is not an excuse. Over 30s, over 40s, over 50s even, over 60s. Had some amazing results with clients all around the world. All it starts with is a little bit of knowledge for you taking control of that inner venom. Are you ready? Because there's so many snacks. So little time.